What's up guys? It's your Aquarian Guru here. Um, as promised, I'm going to go over um, convict breeding habits, um, the signs that you have a pregnant convict cichlid or that they are about to breed or that they have been breeding or you're about to have fry or uh, stuff of that nature. Um, I guess one of the clear telltale, telltale signs that you uh, are about to have fry or that you have breeding convict cichlids is uh, when you start to see more color and uh, what I mean by that is um, convicts are you know there's, there's one right there very plain black gray um, but I've got one a female who is really showing a lot of color and she's got a really plump tummy um, and the thing about convicts is whenever they in the mood or they they trying to get it uh, they don't hide it they really put it out there so you can see see your girl right there yeah see that color there she ain't trying to hide it she's trying to put it out there and get some from a male I don't know if I think she, she's already gotten it um, her, her tummy is real plump where'd you go girl come on where are you don't be running away from me get back out here and show yourself what the what are you doing, dog? Learn to walk. What? Come on, girl, get out of here. Let me see you. Where she go? All right. So, get get out the way. Can you see that orange? Bright orange on her tummy. This plant could not be in a more inconvenient spot. There we go. That bright orange there on her tummy and up color on her fence. She's trying to she's trying to show a male her stuff and um, trying to show everyone else, you know, I'm get away, uh, don't mess with me. Um, but that that bright color right there, she I'm pretty sure that and she's got a, a plump stomach there uh, she's got eggs inside her and or she has just laid them and so within um, they should spawn within about four days and uh, there'll be lots and lots of little fry in the past I've had in between 40 and 60 fry from uh, one one you know one spawning um, now, hey, so, um, those are kind of the things to look for. Um, you might notice that they're getting more aggressive towards other fish. Um, in this tank, that's not going to be a problem because these guys are mean fish. Um, and, uh, I'm going to let the spawn, uh, the, the fry get eaten uh, in here because I have 20 convict cichlids and I'm not trying to fill all my tanks with them. Uh, but... The, uh, if you had these convict cichlids in with you know a couple other, I, I mean my first, my first um, group of fry, they uh, they had, I guess there were three convict cichlids in there, and the parents, whenever the fry were born, they whenever they spawned, the, uh, the parents killed off the other convict cichlid in there because they were really paranoid about. Man, maybe he tried to eat one. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see it, but I know as soon as I saw the babies, I also found the other dead convict. So, um, uh, if you want your fry to live, if you really want them to live, the best thing you can do is get the parents out of the tank. Um, sometimes you can leave the parents in there and they'll take care of them. I've had it, I mean, I've had the parents eat the fry, I've had the parents take care of the fry. Uh, typically, after a few I guess we'll call them litters of fish. Um, they'll get it right and, and take care of the kids. But um, yeah, look at that color. Yeah, she's trying to get it. Go on, girl. Strut your stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. After a few times, they'll get it right. Uh, they're good parents, um, but 
if that's, that's a few things you can look for if you think or, or you're wanting to have um, convicts um, breed. Uh, if you're looking to have babies, convicts, they breed like rabbits. So um, they get it in a lot. And uh, I know my, within 60 days, I had three different groups of, of fry. Um, so convicts, convicts know how to do it. So uh, chances are, if you've got a few, you'll have a male and a female together, and they'll uh, they'll make some babies for you. But um, that's about all you need to know. Um, you don't really need to start feeding the fry until they're, you know, until their mouths are big enough to eat. They'll find stuff on the bottom of the tank, and you know, just little things that fish eat. So um, I guess until until next time, peace out, guys. Remember, fish are friends, not food. We'll catch you next time.